Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule very well to this very day. Also, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the hope elect that is also laboring his work and his labor of love. Giving you diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. Now, um, you know, I ran across this uh, <clears throat> this article here on RT while I was searching, and you know, this this is nothing new in the land of America, you know, which is uh, Babylon the Great in the Bible. But <clears throat> you know, what you're witnessing here is the uh, is is basically perpetuating this uh, vibration of a. Uh, homosexuality, transgenderism, you know, men becoming women, women becoming men, you know, they, they're basically pushing out this uh, vibration on the, uh, the mainstream. And which uh, you see here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read the, uh, the article here, but you know, it's, it's, this goes to show you that, you know, as time goes on, it's only gonna get worse and worse, you know? And, and this is this, basically on this article, it, it's, uh, showcasing that uh, you know two two drag queens on uh, Super Bowl commercial as was going on and you know and, and like I mentioned before you know they're making it mainstream you know and it's only going to be a matter of time before you know that's going to be at, a, at an all time high rate that's why our Lord who these people innerly call Jesus, and which his true name is Yahweh Shai. That's why he's coming back to de to destroy this place, man. You know, because of stuff like this. This, you know, things that go on here in America. You know, not only is it being uh, uh, perpetuated here in America, but that same vibration is being pushed out throughout the other nations. See, that's why the other nations absolutely uh, they, they're they're starting to greatly abhor this place uh babylon because they see what goes on here all right because babylon or america pushes out uh the wine in which that wine represents uh the doctrine all right the philosophies that's that's what that wine represents when it, when you read about it in our uh, revelations all right that's why the other nations are furious Okay, and that's why Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is furious. Okay, and since that vibration is being pushed out, you know it's only a matter of time before, like I mentioned before, it's going to get worse and worse, and <clears throat> inevitably, the Lord is going to come back and He's going to destroy this place. All right. But like I said before, man, this is nothing new under, under the sun, man. You know? There's nothing new, man. And, and you know, it's only going to be a matter of time before, you know, the, the, it's going to reach its peak. Which I made earlier in um, a video. You know, a video I recently put up uh, concerning how I was returning to uh, destroy this place was that, um, Concerning the wine press, this place is fully ripe to be destroyed. All right. And you can see here one of the pictures, man, have a 12 year old drag queen, uh, Desmond. And, and and that's what they do. They push it towards the children as well. And I'm pretty sure, man, during the Super Bowl, you had children that was watching the commercials. And not only that, you got other um, outlets as well, like drag queens reading books to children. You know, all this stuff is is is. <laughs> this is pure D hell, man. I'm just gonna tell you like it is. It's wickedness, man. It's, it's straight up darkness. All right. That's why, man. We can't wait until Yahweh Shah completely destroy this place, man. We we are begging Yahweh Bashim Shah to destroy this place immediately because of this, man. All right. If you're a man of the Lord, if you're if you're a man of righteousness, then this should uh, send chills down your spine, man. All right. 
that this is going on. That's why videos like this uh, this goes up, man. That's why videos like these go up uh, day in and day out because of this, man. Like it says in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, um, starting from the uh, the seventh verse on down, or should I say fourth verse, and, and continue reading down, it says uh, the ones that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, the men, the men who are sighing and crying. So if this, if this doesn't make you sigh and cry, man, then, then more than likely you're not a man of the Lord. All right, I'm just be honest with you. Okay. Because this, this is, this is stir your spirit. You know, seeing this. Okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the precepts I have here concerning that. Um, First, I'm going to grab Isaiah chapter 60, right at verse 2. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So, right now, as it stands, darkness have covered the whole entire planet Earth, man. All right? Darkness has, has fully engrossed these people all right now when you're in uh, darkness you know you can't see uh, what's around you all right you're you're completely blind okay so with these people them being in darkness they, they they're, they're blind man okay they can't see the, the the full picture you know because they don't have any sort of understanding on what to do all right so that's why it says that the darkness shall cover the earth and grows darkness to people. So the, the, the people themselves are, 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 are in league with darkness, man. All right. And if you're not a part of it, then you're an outsider. OK. But us here, we understand, you know, what's what. And these people think that the darkness is light and they think light is darkness. All right. Now, um, actually, let me um, grab that. All right, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, and um, verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And this place, America, <coughs> is, if you go into the word America, it goes back to the origin of the word uh, uh, miracle, which means bitter. All right. That's why America is, is, is the most bitter captivity that we ever been in. All right. But they have taken the bitter for sweet and the sweet for bitter because the, the, the truth and righteousness, that's sweet. All right. It's sweet because why? Because it, it leads unto life. But the ways of this place leads unto death. So they've taken the bitter, which is America, for sweet. And they're taking the sweet, which is what? The righteousness of Yahweh Bashem Shai and took it for bitter. All right? They'll take life for darkness and darkness for light. They're called evil good and good evil. All right? So they, they what you see right here concerning uh, the commercial that I just showed in the, um, in the article, right? They took they have taken the evil for good, man. All right. Now, putting up a video like this concerning that and speaking against it, which is something that's good and something that we're supposed to be doing. They take that as evil. OK. That goes to show you that this place is upside down. Like it says in Isaiah, it says, uh, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. All right. Now I'm going to go on from there. I'm going to get a uh, second Andrew. It should be in the 15th chapter. It's lock you. Uh, second Andrew, uh, chapter 15. And um, I'm going to start at verse four. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, save the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world 
the sword, famine, and destruction. Why is he bringing these things? Verse 6. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's why. All right? Because the Lord has to come back to cleanse this place. All right? He has to cleanse this place of all filthiness and, 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 and wickedness, man, until it's completely clean. All right? Because as it stands, there's nowhere is clean here on, on America. Or if you go anywhere, all right, on the planet Earth, nowhere is clean. Because Why? Because Esau has his hand in everything. All right? Now I'm going to go on from there. I'm going to grab a... And this is what I mentioned earlier about the nations drinking the wine of Babylon, right? This is Revelation chapter 11, verse uh, 3. It says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication. Who's fornication? Babylon, which is known as America the Great in the Bible. It says, And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right? Now, I'll grab uh, another one here. All right, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. You see? And that's a part of the big picture because the Lord is allowing Babylon to reach a certain height, to reach its peak, the peak of wickedness, and it's going to be at the point where when it does reach its peak, that's when the Lord is going to tear it down. Case in point, uh, Egypt. When he set up Egypt and, and Pharaoh at a certain height of their kingdom, and he hardened Pharaoh's heart to where he'll show his power in them, man. To where he'll show his power uh, towards Pharaoh and the Egyptians. So guess what? But guess what? Babylon is no different. All right. America is no different. He's allowing this place to get to a certain point. And then when it does reach that point, he's going to tear it down. All right. That's how the Lord shows his power. OK. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off on that note. Uh, Lord's will. This was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel and also as well, man. Just keep enduring and keep pushing at this point because as as time goes on, we're in 2020. We're already in February. So as time goes on, thing, more things are going to start happening. Wickedness is going to continue to ex pollute the whole earth until Yahweh brings down the hammer. All right. It's going to be nothing pleasant for these people, man. So with that, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well to this very day. Also, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the hopeful elect that is laboring his work. Give me your diligence to make your calling and election sure, in faith, in truth, and sincerity, and in all charity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.